bunker from a bunker. WNBC TV, this is News 4 New York at 6 with Chuck Scarborough, Don Fratangelo, Al Roker's Weather, and Len Berman Sports. Well, the Easter Bunny, it seems, was an irresistible lure, and now the Federal Trade Commission is filing complaints against three companies, one of them right here in New York, that used the holiday rabbit to get children to dial a 900 telephone number. It added up to big phone bills for their parents. Dialing for information is a billion-dollar industry, and it's growing. Tonight News 4's Mary Sevilla begins a two-part special report. Dial T for trouble. No messages or recordings. Just call. It's so easy. One. It's nine, ads like these you see on late night TV that you may connect with 900 numbers, sex and date lines. There's no guarantee you'll end up with a number who looks like the one who gets you to call or anyone at all. But there is a guarantee you'll pay and possibly more than you thought. I can only say so much in 30 seconds. But if you call now, I can tell you so much more. There are legit lines, like ones that raise money for charity. But 900 calls have been latched onto by hucksters who make money not on anything they sell, but merely keeping you on the line. A company, a vendor, rents the 900 number from a long-distance carrier. The vendor charges a caller whatever he wishes, pays the phone company a fee, and pockets the rest. The rest can be a lot. One woman who answered an ad for credit cards found that out. For $50, what she got was a list of banks that offer Visa and MasterCard, and an application for something called Unicard, which charged a $95 membership fee. After I've used their card for, for, for six months and have charged at least $1,000 worth of merchandise, then they will help me get a Visa or MasterCard. New York's attorney general is suing an unclaimed property company for bilking thousands of New Yorkers. And there are postcards that tell you to call a 900 number to find out what prize you won in a contest you never entered. This was my first experience with a card that said I won a prize. So I said, oh, well, I'll call. So I called the number. All I got is recording. Now, how do you tell a recording? Oh, what did you say? Who? I didn't right, get that. Right. Uh, so before you know it, I got the beep. And I didn't give them my identification number, which was a requirement. So I, I, I just lost out. But my Did they bill you for that call? Yes, they bill me for the call. As plenty of parents have found out, teenagers are vulnerable to these calls. Like the boy who thought he'd get to talk to a rock star, or at least hear him. It was like a recording, and then, and then you ain't hear nothing after a while. And then I got the bill, and it was like $10 just for hearing nothing. Yesterday, the FTC announced action against three companies they charge preyed on children. The sale of 900 number services to children represents about the only way in America today that an advertiser can make a sale to a six or an eight year old with virtually no control or approval. Aliza Lutz of Collingswood, New Jersey was lured by a 900 number when she was only nine. I would call maybe two or three times a day because the um, message was all fuzzy, so you kind of have to go over it again and again to make sure what, that you, you heard what you heard. Aliza's grandmother was outraged. They didn't even have the decency to offer these children a, a, a decent quality product, and $2 a minute is, is a lot of, of money. Some of the ads kids respond to are sex ads. One boy ran up a $4,000 bill. I thought he was talking to his friends. I was his friends, all right, when I got the bill. I dialed some of those sex numbers. I hung on for endless instructions on tape at $2.50 a minute. You reach the hottest men in the country. Okay, then in seven minutes' time, I spoke to three recorded messages, each telling me to make a long-distance call, presumably to speak to the hot man in person. The New York Consumer Protection Board's chairman. Total abuse of the phone system. 
Well, late today, a House subcommittee voted to approve restrictions on 900 numbers. The bill would force companies to tell you up front what is being offered and the cost, then give you time to hang up without being charged. We'll be back at 11 o'clock this evening, and tomorrow you will meet some of the real people behind those date messages. Could be amusing. Yes. Is our news director going to be shocked when he gets your phone bill at the right. end of the month? <laughs> Maybe. Well, let's <laughs> right. check that out. All right. Thanks All right, a lot. Mary.